and the boolean function f is implemented in the figure using two input multiplexes as shown in the figure see now here suppose i am indicating this one with f1 f1 is nothing but b bar c plus b c bar so f is nothing but f1 bar 0 and f1 a so which is equals to a into f1 that is b bar c plus b c bar hence option a is correct the period of the discrete time function is 0 0.125 milliseconds and it is sampled at 1024 equally spaced point it is assumed that there is no aliasing compute the interval between the frequency components in kilohertz here the time period of the signal is 0 0.125 milliseconds and n is 1024 equally spaced sample points hence the sampling frequency is nothing but fs is 1024 divided by 0 0.125 into 10 power minus 3 which is equals to 8.2 mega h with this particular 8.2 megahertz the frequency spectrum is going to repeat here in time domain the signal is discrete as well as periodic so in the frequency domain as well it is going to be a discrete as well as a periodic so we have to decide what will be the spacing between the successive frequency components so the interval is defined as 8.2 megahertz divided by 1024 which is the frequency interval which is nothing but 8 kilohertz hence option b is correct boolean function given below we have to find out the minimal product that means max term equation means in terms of sop in, in terms of pos form product of sums so in order to find out that thing we have to uh, use the k map for this one that is this is wx yz 1 3 4 5 6 7 11 14 15 0 0 0 0 0 0 so we have to group this there are two max terms this is m1 this is m2 see m1 can be written as written as this is 1 1 1 0 so w bar this is 0 0 0 1 so y and this one is 0 0 1 0 this one is x plus z that is option c is correct modulation index of an am wave is changed from 0 to 1 the transmitted power is we know that in case of an am wave pt equals to that expression for the P total power is nothing but pc into 1 plus mu square by 2 if mu equals to 0 pt equals to pc if mu equals to 1 pt equals to 1.5 pc so if we compare those two equations we will Know that the power is incremented by 50%, hence option A is correct. If E equals to that is electric field 4ux minus 3uy plus 5uz in the neighborhood of a point 6, 2, minus 3, the incremental work done in moving 5 coulomb charge a distance of 2 meters in the direction of ux plus uy plus uz is. We know that work done is nothing but force into distance traveled here which is nothing but minus q e into dt there is distance traveled 
so minus 5 4 into ux minus 3uy plus 5uz in the direction of this one so we have to find out the unit vector in that particular direction ux plus uy plus uz divided by root 3 2 so minus 20 ux plus 15 uy minus 25 uz and 2 by root 3 ux uy uz here minus 20 plus 15 minus 25 to root 3 so minus 45 plus 15 to root 3 that is 30 to root 3 is equals to minus 34.64 joules hence option C is correct in a field we've got operating in te12 mode at a frequency 20 percent higher than the cutoff frequency of the phase velocity then the phase velocity is here phase velocity is nothing but v divided by 1 minus fc by f whole square under root here this is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second divided by fc by 1.2 fc whole square under root which is vp is equals to 5.42 into 10 power 8 meters per second hence option b is correct integral of sin x plus cos x divided by under root 1 plus sin 2x dx equals to here sin x plus cos x divided by sin x plus cos x whole square under root dx which is equals to x hence option b is correct given that out of one call one call out of 15 between 2 pm and 4 pm of week are busy and we have to find the probability that exactly two calls will be busy out of six randomly selected calls now let us take p as the probability that a telephone call is busy then q will be nothing but probability that telephone call is not busy means it's ringing now p is given as 1 out of 15 1 call out of 15 are busy so p will be 1 by 15 so correspondingly q will be 14 by 15 and we need exactly two calls that means we have to find p of x is equals to 2 out of 6 calls so the value of n is nothing but 6 so the formula is ncr into x to the power of p p to the power of x r into y to the power of n minus r that is equals to n n is nothing but 6 here c and we need exactly two calls that is 2 and p is nothing but busy 1 by 15 raised to the power of r that is square into y value of y is 14 by 15 and this will be 4 if we simplify this the value will be 0 0.0505 which is nothing but option 